This animation looks really slick and I call it the camera pendulum animation. It's very easy to set up, so I'm adding an extra twist where we change the colors of the cans during the motion. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everybody. So today we are going to create the easiest animation of this entire tutorial. It's going to be very simple. As I already told you, we are going to have this end frame be our start frame for the next animation. So right here, we've got this render. I'm going to save it as our new render. First of all, I will select all the objects in the scene. Then I'm going over to the graph editor, make sure that all our locks are unlocked so that we can delete the keyframes. Now, that seems to be the case. So right now I can select everything by pressing A, X to delete the keyframes on this very last frame and nothing should move from here on out. So I'm heading over into the camera and I'm going to press location, rotation and scale. And it will have its very first keyframe. So the camera is first going like this, swinging this side and then swinging back on that side. Heading over to frame 24 and I'm going to press R, Z, Z and have the camera rotate on this axis like so. I, location, rotation and skill and then on frame 37 and what I'm doing is I'm using the frames that I have left on my music as a guideline and I know that there will be a beat drop in 37 frames from our previous animation. Actually it's 39 frames but I tested some things around and I found that when I take two frames off it looks best in the transition. I will swing the camera back to the other side. So R, C, Z to rotate it on its normal axis and something like this. And that is basically our animation and it's going very fast and that's because this should not be on frame 24. This should be in the middle, so I'm going to place it at like 19. And that is the animation. Now naturally, as you know from this course, we will have to do some things in the graph editor, which is what we'll do right now. So I'm heading over into the graph editor, clicking on my camera and let's see where my keyframes are. Where are my keyframes? Open this up. As we can see, we are doing something with this green line, which is this Y Euler rotation is going to be locked. And I'm opening up the Y Euler rotation, press A, press dot. And now we have our fine looking curve right here. Now, the way that I want this curve to look is parabolic. Uh, I want this to be a swinging effect and make it extra smooth. So I'm going to make both of these free. And this one I'm going to place upwards. And this one I'm going to place upwards as well. And let's see what that looks like. So now it's slowing down and fast. Slowing down fast, fast in the beginning. Maybe we can take this one and move it to this side. Maybe it could be a little bit And now it's kind of coming in faster, slowing down and like a pendulum swings back. And right here is our cut basically. So we are going to cut it right here and it will transition really nice because it's going very fast oh, and we're going to cut on the action and you will not be able to see the jankiness of it. As you can see right now, when I do this, it seems like it's running into a rock, but that is not going to be the case. When we switch this to a different shot, it will actually look very smooth. So what are we going to do? Because this is not the end of our tutorial. I want to change the colors in between this animation because there's a hi-hat in the song. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And you can hear that. And I want the colors to change somewhere around those hi-hats. And so I'm going to render the same can in different colors. And I'll show you how to do that. But first, we need to render this one. So I'm going over here and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it black color rotation animation. I like long terms. Our color depth is on 16. That is looking fine. I'm going to set this to GPU because I've tested this out and it works on GPU now. Yay. So motion blur should be turned on. I believe we can increase the max samples to 1024. I'm just going to increase the noise threshold to 0 0.1. 
And as soon as this animation is done, I will show you what we have. And then we are going back into the render. We're going to change the colors, render the same animation multiple times. And then we're going to have that line up in the editing process, which is one of the final videos of this free course. All right, so now all we have to do is we go into this render. I'm going to click on this texture. And right here in the shader editor, I'm going to press on this uh, copy icon. And right in between this node and the principal BSDF, do mind the bottom principal BSDF, I am going to press Shift A, mix color. And let's see what we are doing. So right now it's giving this white haze because it's mixing our original image with this color B. I want to change the color to one of those colors. So let's say I am going to start with green. And then maybe I can take this green color and use the hex value. You can find the hex values right over there. And I'm going to copy it, add it over to this one. And then in color A actually, okay, let me just show you. I will make this green. Right now the entire can becomes green, but it's not the type of green that we want it to be. Reason for it is that we need to plug this into the factor as well. Why is that? Well, because it's mixing our previous image and thus the blacks with the green. I do not want that to happen. So I'm going to plug this color into the factor. Then I'm going to shift this one over to color B. And I'm going to change this color to green. And now everything is correct. Uh, one thing I am noticing, this is blue still and I want to make that white. So I'm going to RGB, I mean HSP, value all the way to one, saturation all the way to zero. And now this is white as well. I'm going to add a new folder right over here. And we have the black color animation. So now new folder. This is the green color rotation animation. And now you can make as many color renders as you like. And we will edit this together in the final part. I hope you like this animation as much as I do. In the next video, we're going to make a liquid simulation. So get ready, buckle up and click here to watch it.